Hello everyone and welcome to Big Rock Moto. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Cruise control. Why don't more mo modern motorcycles come with cruise control? It's a major frustration among a lot of us out there looking at new motorcycles. So today I'm going to talk about Viridian cruise control for select motorcycles. So right here in my hot little hands is a Viridian cruise control system for my Suzuki, well I shouldn't say my, for the Suzuki V-Storm 800 DE that Suzuki has loaned me for a six month long term review. I don't actually own the bike. So this is a cruise control system that is a plug and play system. So if you're lucky enough to have a bike that has a ride by wire throttle, meaning the throttle is electronic, then Viridian Cruise is making kits for a lot of different motorcycles, especially, especially adventure motorcycles that are ride by wire where you can plug and play and have electronic cruise control on your bike. Now, Couple disclaimers, um, this is not an install video. I don't do those on this channel. Also, I don't have any responsibility or, I mean, I disclaim all responsibility for any modifications you do to your bike in terms of how it affects the warranty, the safety, or anything like that. So keep that in mind. All right, so taking a look at the Viridian Cruise Control website here on my laptop in the garage, you can see they're advertising different bikes here, Honda NC750, the Honda Transalp, the Suzuki V-Strom, that's the one we're doing today. Uh, and then you can see, you know, they've got different switches, different articles here. If you want to see all the bikes they have, you can see, uh, you can go here and see all the different uh, motorcycles that they offer the system for. So for instance, I went here to KTM, I can see they've got 1050, 1090, and 1190 Adventure, 1290 Super Duke, they've got 390 Adventure, the 690 and 701. Anyway, you get the picture. There's a lot of different models they have and they're always adding new models to their website as they're able to develop new systems. So you can see here, uh, Viridian have made an instruction video to install the system on the 800D EV Strom. So I'm gonna be using this video and I'll give you like a time lapse of the install process on my V Strom here in the garage to show you kind of what's involved. And keep in mind that different bikes have different install procedures. On some motorcycles, you may not have to remove the gas tank, on some you do. So the difficulty is dependent on kind of what bike you have, but you can check out the instructions there on their website. So basically what we've got here, we've got a handlebar switch, which now is much easier to install. We've got kind of a control module and we need to plug into, on this bike, we need to plug into the heated grips connector and then under, which is under the tank. So we do have to take the tank off this v -strom. And then under the seat, there's a diagnostics connector and there's a tap for the brake wire. To, so it, this system can get a signal to know if you do tap the brakes, because obviously there's different conditions where the system for safety reasons obviously needs to disengage, you know. So, um, so we'll go ahead and get started with the install. And uh, yeah, we'll do a little time lapse. All right, you can see here I got the fuel tank off. If you follow instructions really closely, it's not too bad. Sometimes some of the connectors you fight with a little bit to figure out how they work. They've got different locks and things like that, and you've got hose clamps. But you know, if you've worked on bikes before, it's it, eventually it all kind of is the same kind of idea. So got that off. Now I'm going to get the system here, uh, plug in the wiring, run my uh, controller, my handlebar switch up to here, and thankfully the new style switch is one. I don't have to take any of this stuff off. It just goes over and then clamps on. Super easy get my wiring tucked in. I got some GPS wiring that this is a good chance for me to tidy that up and kind of put it under the fuel tank here because that runs up to my Carpy Ride uh, GPS tablet. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get this put on and then we should be, well, then we'll reassemble the bike.
right, well, as you can see, we've got the V-Strom all buttoned back up together. You know, it really is pretty simple once you get used to working on it. It snaps back together pretty quick. The only difference you can notice, and most people wouldn't even notice it, you can see the cruise control switch right here, which I mounted as close to this cluster as I could so that I could easily reach it with my left thumb. So the only thing we have to do now is go for a test ride. All right, so on the highway, uh, the cruise control is super simple to use, just like your car. So you've got the three buttons. You can use either the up or the down button to set the cruise, and then the speed up and down uh, to change speed, and then the middle is cancel. So we'll go ahead and set it 60 miles an hour, and we're just cruising along hands-free. If I want to increase speed, I just hit the plus, and it increases about about one or two miles an hour in increments and then you know as we start to go sorry it's very windy today so you might hear the wind but start to go make sure you pay attention when you're on cruise control so you don't rear end somebody and get killed um, set the cruise control back so plus minus works great does a great job holding speed on the hills and uh, yeah it's just super easy to use and it's just so nice to be able to ride you know, and rest your, rest your hand and just avoid speeding tickets by keeping it a nice steady speed. So, I'm a tremendous fan of, of cruise control on motorcycles and I wish more motorcycles would come with it from the factory. But since they don't, I'm happy that Viridian Cruise uh, exists. All right, well, that about wraps it up in terms of the Vir Viridian Cruise Control system. It's a pretty straightforward system to use. I mean, keep in mind the disclaimers I gave you about warranties and safety and all those sorts of things. Uh, and check out the Viridian Cruise website to see what motorcycle models uh, that you can get the system for. And keep in mind that they're always adding new models to the website as they develop, uh, you know, the, the system for new bikes that are coming out. Now, if you have questions, you can put them down below or you can also email or get in touch with Viridian Cruise if you have a specific bike that you would like them to develop a system for. I know they keep track of those requests, so go ahead and let them know that so they know there's interest in that particular model. So this V-Strom is so much better with cruise control. I did the same thing when I had the Transalp 750. Uh, I put the same system on my Gas Gas ES700 I just love this system and this new switch is really, really nice. So check it out, use my discount code. If I didn't already mention that, Big Rock Moto, you'll save 12% off your order and it puts a little commission also to help support the channel and the work I'm doing here. Thank you so much for watching, ride safe, and I'll see you out there.